Who's your favorite character? Ooh. From The Godfather. Yeah, mine. It's easy. Mm. Easy? Oh, it's easy. What do you got? Is it Michael. Mi- is, it Mi- is Michael no your favorite? No question. Young well, in the but, family. But, but it's favorite, pr- I mean, it's favorite, like me. Favorite why, though? It's not like he brings you a try. lot of joy in the movie. Like, you could... I think Sonny might be my favorite. Just well, he's the most tragic character, Michael, in the fact right. that he had a, a, a life of legitimacy all laid out for him, and he gets sucked into the business, and it changes him. He just he becomes a horrible human being, a monster, which is what yeah. Kay called him yeah, at the absolutely. end of, uh, of of the second film. Yeah, and and then. In Godfather Three, which nobody really talks about very much, it's it's tragic. But so I know when you talk about enjoyment, Sonny gives you enjoyment. Like again, he says he's playing. You know, James Conn said moments ago that Rickles was his. Yeah, he's playing inspiration. Like a tough he is guy, kind of funny. Don Rickles, and it's funny and like he, a hothead. He beats people up. Yeah, hothead. He has got all the good one-liners. You Never know, talk outside the family, he's right? Never money talk about at family the paparazzi, business. Like, you know, the FBI, like, I don't know. I mean, Brando would a lot is amazing. I mean, even though he's really only in one. I just mean like character. Like, do you like, oh, to, I was, like Tom? I got to Tom's them. One of Are your we favorite? talking about Frank? Are we talking about Godfathers one and two? Just just Okay. One. Favorite character in Godfather One mm. is uh, Waltz, the movie, oh, the movie, producer. the movie mogul. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's, he has a lot of great one liners. Khartoum, four hooves, like beautiful. His 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 uh, horse Khartoum. He's really going for it, right? Actor. And you know, and he's the one who winds up with the horse's head in his bed. Answers the phone. Waltz is listening. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell your father I ain't no band leader. I ain't no band leader. I've heard that story, heard that too, story too, kid. Too. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, right. You know, I ain't no band leader. And then, I mean, so, and then, in, and then Godfather 2 is Frank Pantangeli. Oh, I see you Hyman know, Roth. Hyman Roth Lee is Strauss a great character, too. taught all those guys. I mean, that was his right. school. They made those guys act, a lot of them actors. Yes. The actor's studio. I mean, that, those guys don't exist without, Strauss, Strasburg is just amazing as Hyman Roth. Luca, oh. Luca Brazzi from, uh, from the first Luca's episode, first movie. I like, I like Clemenza. Too, Clemenza's just, you know. He's the com- the he's like the like and he's making the sauce. Yeah, like, he's, he, he has, he has good, comedy. He has a good one liner. Hey, yeah, he's a little comic. Why do you call that girl? I'm telling you, love her, and he's like making fun yeah. of Michael. Right. He's not but how about how about you know? Um, nobody talks about Fredo. He's kind of like the Bruno. Nobody talks about Fredo. Um, <laughs> In part two, it's like nice Encanto reference. Thank right? you, sir. Um, and that. Uh, Fredo's character, Mo Green, is a great character oh, too. Oh yeah. Alex Rocco, the actor oh, yeah. Alex Rocco, He's really who good. played the uh, the music executive in that thing you do yes. as well. Um, Mo Green is just fantastic. There's a lot, you I know. Mean, can't get a drink at the table because of what Fredo's doing with the uh, the waitresses, <laughs> two at a time. And so and so he he is uh, amazing, but I, I, I and and the actor John Casal oh, who yeah. played Fredo, he died. Very early in his life, I think cancer killed him. He was married to Meryl Streep, or he was dating Meryl Streep. They, they, were, they, were, they married. were married. They were married for a and, time. And he was in five movies. Because uh, Francis Ford Coppola put him in a lot of his films. Um, well, he was in five movies. They were all nominated for Best Picture. Both Godfathers, one and two. Dog Day Afternoon, which he was in with Pacino. Uh, the Deer Hunter, and then the fifth one is 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 a movie that I don't think a lot of people have seen. It's definitely one of the fewest mentioned Francis Ford Coppola films. Um, Gene Hackman is the star yes. in it. Um, there are some cameo roles in it by Robert Duvall and a very young Harrison mm, Ford. Yeah, um, and uh, I believe Shirley of Laverne and Shirley was in it as well. Yeah, Cindy Williams. Cindy Williams was in it, and it's a movie called The Conversation. Yeah, it's amazing. Which is truly, it's a, it's one of those 70s movies, slow-moving movies that are really intense. And those are the five movies that John Casale was in. Yeah. It's like, of his short Just batting a thousand. I think he was going to be, he was going to be in Apocalypse Now, if I'm wrong. I don't know. 
and he didn't. Then he would. He, I think he, he was passed alive. Away. Uh, he I passed think, away. Yeah. yeah, he passed away at forty-two. I mean, I unreal. And he, he was, was Fredo, sick. and you know him, him telling Michael at the very end of Godfather Two, "I'm smart." I mean, that scene a, where he's like, "Where well, I'm the, smart," uh, he's house. telling me oh, smart in the boat. I mean, my God, Part it is two, truly. I've said this. It's got the th- what I call the three magical things. Mm-hmm. Cinematography is insane. Mm-hmm. The story is like remarkable, beyond remarkable, and then the, the actors, the acting is the best ensemble. Up to like it's like Sopranos was always like that. Secession like that. That movie has those three well i mean you take a look it's insane. at insane i mean i think it's you know very kind of you to mention succession in the same succession breath as all this total. but but now, but but Coming but now. but in and we've just talked about both films and the cast and we didn't even mention de niro plays the young vito right. corleone yeah oh yeah and, part two. i mean it's just oh my it's, gosh that's what just adds to part it two. is the greatest sequel ever nothing comes close i know you mentioned empire strikes back with all due respect it is a great sequel to a an iconic uh film in in an iconic series of movies pop culture wise but there's nothing there is no greater sequel than godfather 2 and the fact that you would make another movie after the original godfather and it is such a perfect film and it is so remarkable that you're like going to put it on the line and do it again for the second you know that's why everyone was kind of disappointed that you're going to make a Godfather Part Three. Well, now they've they've edited the. the it's, I need to see it new, again. I've only seen one. it. I've only seen it a they've couple done, of times in not many done years. They've a re-edit of the three of them right. together, and it's amazing. It changes it's also three. Like eight hours. <laughs> it's like exactly, and I've actually it just they. I think they did it recently. Joe Montaigne is terrific in it. Oh. Andy Garcia. And Andy Garcia's in it as well, right? Who I mean, great, you know, his... um, I got to tell you, though, uh, favorite character, I guess, in one would be, again, it's Waltz, the uh, the movie So maybe, maybe we, studio don't, we don't mogul. go main characters, like like the offshoot okay, guys. Okay, so you got to do offshoots. Well, I just went offshoot. That's and what then... I mean. Like, so, like, you can't say Michael or Sonny. Like, you're okay, going to say so, some uh... of the, like, the side guys. Mo Green. Waltz. Oh, God. Tessio is Abe Vigoda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. phenomenal. Can you get me and off the hook Tessio for all time? So the answer is no. For all time, for all time sake, Clemenza's right? my guy. To leave the gun, take the gun. I always. like Clemenza, I've too. said that line more in my life than I can imagine. Clemenza's also a great name for a dog. And then yes. in, in, in Godfather Part Two, it's without a question Frank Pantangeli, who oh. winds up turning state's evidence and then doesn't. Um, you got to see, again, just tremendous. And then the, uh, the senator... Oh, it, 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 Senator Geary, Geary from the state of Utah, because the the Corleone family has moved to Lake Tahoe, um, and and so um, he's played by the actor um, G B Spr- G D Spradlin, who was in Apocalypse Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I believe he was also uh, the uh, coach in North Dallas Forty. Oh, really? See, really? As well. Mm-hmm. I think he was the one who played uh, Tom Landry character in North <laughs> Dallas 40. Oh yeah, man. He yeah. was in Apocalypse Now. He was in he was and uh yeah, he wound up in a in a tough spot and got the part Ford two. Ford was in a, a, he had a cameo. It, I call it a cameo because he's just one in, scene. In the conversation. And in Apocalypse Now, he plays this mm. in one scene. I wonder why he didn't make it. I don't know cuz he was too because he was I don't know. Cuz he's in American Graffiti. Which was another one that was a Coppola. You take a look at Harrison. Lucas. Harrison Ford oh, it's, it's was insane. in all those movies, and then, and then, George Lucas and Spielberg got a hold of him. Because wasn't he like a carpenter? He was like doing some work in the building or something, and they asked him it's to nuts. read, and he just crushed it. Yeah, he crushed it. I think that's I mean, the story for I mean, most beat up actor of all time. Yeah, it's true. That's, Nobody gets the crap beaten out of him in, in his in films quite like Harrison Ford. Pretty good. Frozen and Carbonite, good. right? That's true. Snakes. It, it's snakes. I mean, right? Even as the president of the United States on yeah. his plane, yeah. right? He gets beat up. He's the president. He gets beat up as the president. Who gets beat up as the president? Even when he's flying his own plane. I know. <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh, oh. 
It's too. That one's too That's soon. Too, too soon. Yeah. Who's the? Is he the most beat up actor in the history of acting? I mean, Tom Cruise has taken a beating. Clint Eastwood. Tom Cruise. Couple, Clint Eastwood but term, took a beating. Uh, honestly, Tom Cruise took a beating. Indiana Jones taking a beating. Han Solo's yes. taking a beating. Who's getting? He's get, he just gets beat up. <laughs> did he? Did he get beat up in Witness? <laughs> yeah, he did. You know he actually I mean? did. Regarding Henry? Reg- <laughs> well, exactly. And then, of course, uh, the the fugitive. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, Richard right. Kimball got his ass kicked. He jumps off of a dam. A oh, dam. Into the, yeah. I mean, come on. You're pointing my gun at me. I don't care. Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah man. How did he not wind up in The Godfathers? So we can I ask know. him that. And then his answer is probably, being, I think it turned out all right. <laughs> Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.